Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I'm bringing you today's word for July 15, 2014. The title of today's message is Trusting in the Love of God. Do you know God loves you? I mean, really, think about that for a minute. Do you really understand how much God loves you? And do you trust that love? We're in the middle of a series right now entitled Grace-Based Success or Grace-Based Prosperity. Pursuing success God's way by his unearned grace, accepting his grace, and experiencing the life that you were born to live. Well, you can't do that if you don't trust in the love of God towards you. See, God wants you to succeed in life. God wants you to experience his best. The challenge is, for many, trusting God and relying on his grace. See, it's it's much easier for many believers to feel comfortable when they're in charge, when they're the captain of their own ship, when they are charting their own course, when they are charging down their own path by their own strength, on their own merit, doing it their own way. See, it's good for them to feel that way because they feel like they feel comfortable because they are in control. The problem is that this self-effort, relying on self, uh, that's not the message of the New Testament at all. In the New Testament, Matthew 16 and 24 tells us that we're supposed to deny ourselves pick up our cross and follow him. Jesus said, if any man would lose his life for my sake, he will find it. And so you have to give up your plan in order to truly access God's plan for your life. Living by faith means denying self and relying on God and his grace. In John's gospel, the apostle said, for the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. It's grace and truth that came through Jesus. The old covenant was focused on man and man working for God. And this new covenant, this covenant of grace provided to us through Jesus Christ, this new covenant is focused on God and God working for man. Jesus delivered us from self and self-effort. Jesus restored God's covenant of grace. But to fully embrace the grace of God, you must trust God and trust his love towards you. In his first letter, the Apostle John said, anyone who says, I believe that Jesus is the son of God, is a person who lives in God and God lives in that person. So we know the love that God has for us and we trust that love. Let me read that line again. So we know the love that God has for us and we trust that love. He goes on to say, God is love. Everyone who lives in love lives in God and God in them. If God's love is made perfect in us, then we can be without fear. On the day that God judges the world, we will be without fear because in this world, we are just like Jesus. Where God's love is, there is no fear because God's perfect love takes away fear. It is his punishment that makes a person fear. So his love is not made perfect in the person who has fear. That was 1 John 4 verses 15 through 18. So what does this mean to you today? I'm going to give you a few things. I'm actually going to give you seven things today. Quick things. Number one, there are two, primarily speaking, there are two ways to live life. You can either depend on God's unmerited favor or you can depend on your own ability to accomplish things. So which one are you going to choose? You're going to live by your strength or God's grace? Number two, human strength, remember, is limited at best. You can only go so far with your own abilities. That's why you need the grace of God. Number three, true prosperity in life is found by focusing and trusting in Jesus. He made plans for you before the world began. See, your true prosperity is connected to your divine purpose. But you will never maximize your purpose or potential on your own strength, with your own power. You must trust and rely on the grace of God. Number four, if you don't believe God loves you, then you won't believe his plan or his promises for your life. This is why you should remind yourself on a daily basis of God's unmerited and unconditional love towards you. Say this. Just say, God loves me and I know it. Hallelujah. Number five. Confidence in God's love for you is critical to living a successful or prosperous life as a Christian in this world. You must be confident that God loves you because that's going to enable you to live uh, by his grace, peaceful, not stressed out, 
and free from all fear. Number six, number six, when you trust in God's love for you, you will believe his plan, you will believe his promises, and you will rely on his grace. And number seven, and finally, the more you mature and develop in God's love towards you, the more you will freely access his grace, the more you'll be able to live by faith, and you will enjoy freedom from the power of fear. And that's God's best for your life. So let's close this out with a confession of faith. Say, Father, I thank you for taking the time to teach me more and more about your amazing grace and your unconditional love for me. You love me even when I had nothing to do with you. You love me even while I was an unashamed sinner. You loved me before I was born and you sent your son Jesus to die in my place because of your love. You did this by your unearned grace. The more I grow and develop in love, the more I am able to access your grace with my faith. There was a point in my life when I was the captain of my own ship, when I charted my own course, and I lived based solely on my own strength. I now know that I can never maximize my purpose or potential living that way. I accepted your son Jesus as my Lord and I now freely choose to deny myself, to pick up my cross, and to follow him. Following Jesus means believing, accepting, and pursuing his plan for my life. My plan is no longer the plan. I have given up my life for you. And in so doing, I have found the life you destined for me to have. I can give up control because I know you love me and I trust the love. My trust in your love towards me enables me to live by faith, accessing your grace, and living free from the power of fear. Fear has no power over me because I believe and trust in your love. Because I know you love me, I have confidence that you will stick with me and see to it that I arrive at your desired destination for my life. I enter this day and the rest of my life with fearless confidence because my confidence is not in me. My confidence is in you and in your love towards me. I declare this by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. This is today's word. Please apply it and prosper and live the life that God wants you to live. God bless you.